today i will discuss ideas on how to write the discussion section of a research article the information in this video is based on my experiences and the recommendations from the library of sacred heart university i have covered the entire information under four most important points and these are number 1 the guiding principle number 2 content of discussion section number 3 organization and structure of the discussion section and number 4 recommendations for further research allow me to present and discuss these points one by one so number one point the guiding principle and these are be concise and make your points very clearly use the present verb tense for established facts and past verb tense for specific works and the references and preferably use subheadings to organize the interpretation into themes and the second point content of discussion section these four things must be part of the discussion section like explanation of results references to the previous research interpretations and your hypothesis so i will now discuss these four essential things one by one number one is explanation of results you have to explain findings that were profound or unexpected mention whether or not the results were expected and provide explanation thereof write down the meaning of unusual patterns you have observed in the results secondly references to previous research cite the relevant and important studies reported in your field compare your results with the findings from other studies and use other studies to support your claim you may like to explain what might be logical explanation of your results being different from others observations interpretations write down what these findings mean and propose recommendations based on this interpretation and the fourth content is hypothesis write a general claim or possible conclusion which may become basis of the future studies important point number 3 is organization and structure of the discussion section this is the most important one begin by briefly restating the research problem you were investigating and answer all the research questions highlighting the problem that you posed in the introduction section of your research article number 2 describe the patterns principles and relationships shown by each major finding and place them in proper perspective follow a logical stream of thoughts the proper sequence should be as first state the answer then the relevant results and then cite the work of others refer to a figure or table to help enhance the interpretation of the data the order of interpreting each major finding should be in the same order as they were described in your results section a good discussion section includes analysis of any unexpected findings this paragraph should begin with the description of the unexpected findings followed by a brief interpretation as to why you believe it appeared and if necessary its possible significance in relation to the overall study if more than one unexpected finding emerges during the study describe each of them in the order they appeared during the experimentation number 4 before concluding the discussion identify the potential limitations and weaknesses comment on their relative importance in relation to your overall interpretation of the results and if necessary note how they may affect the validity of the findings avoid using an apologetic tone however be honest and self critical the discussion section should end with a concise summary of the principal implications of the findings give a brief explanation about why you believe the findings and conclusions of your study are important this can be followed by any recommendations for further research and most important point number 4 recommendations for further research can be included in either the discussion or conclusion of your paper but do not repeat your recommendation in the both sections of research article at the same time do not be repetitive and do not express in more words than are needed avoid using the jargon language and here are a few of the special notes number 1 besides literature review section the majority of references to sources are written in the discussion section a few historical references may be helpful for perspective but most of the references should be relatively recent and included to aid in the interpretation of your results and 
are linked to similar studies. If a study that you cited disagrees with your findings, do not ignore it. Clearly explain why the study's findings differ from yours. And the second special note is, do not waste entire sentences restating the results. Should you need to remind the reader of the findings to be discussed, use bridge sentences that relate the results to the interpretation. An example would be significant reduction in pathogen load due to UV germicidal radiation suggests that UVGI technology can be used in several ways in controlling the infectious diseases. So this sentence contains both results and its interpretation and also the future perspective. Friends, the entire content is available in description section. Contact me for further queries and suggestions. Please share your feedback in the comment section. Subscribe this channel if you have not done yet. The link of the further reading is provided in the description section. Thank you so much. Take care.